Okay. Um, I will start with Peter Pan, the book. And it goes like this. All children except one grow up. They soon know that they will grow up. And the way Wendy knew was this. One day when she was two years old, she was playing in a garden and she plucked another flower and ran with it to her mother. I suppose she must have looked rather delightful for Mrs. Darling put her hand to her heart and cried, oh, why can't you remain like this forever? This was all that passed between them on the subject. But henceforth, Wendy knew that she must grow up. You always know after you are two, Two is the beginning of the end. James Matthew Barry. Metaphors function like dreams. They offer an internal space reactualizing past experience and conflicts. Like Winnicott's transitional space, metaphors allow one to take distance, differentiate, and be able to play with one's internal and external world, worlds, thereby developing the capacity to symbolize. The process of metaphorization between mother and child is crucial at the beginning of psychic development. In the early symbiotic relationship, the child feels itself existing in the mother's eyes, mirrored in her gaze. According to Pira Olagné, a French psychoanalyst, this process of specularization is a kind of appropriation that consists in recognizing oneself in the other person's psyche, thereby creating the condition for metaphorical thinking. As psychoanalysts, we, we accompany patients in their quest for aliveness and continuity of being and we reflect on how best to enable the maturational process of becoming subject of one's life. Is there a metapsychological map to guide the analytical process? Donald Winnicott and Chandra Fancy both took a sidestep from the accredited technical language and found one that was alive with the experience being described that is closer to perception, the body, and dreaming. 